Executive Mayor, you can take the podium. podium. Thank you, thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is this working? Can you, can you hear me? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Congratulations on your election. I hope and trust that you're going to save this council and the people of this city in a fair and honest manner. Thank you very much and congratulations. My fellow councillors, all of you, our leader, Mr. Maimani, who unfortunately had to leave due to commitments in Cape Town, I also like to pay special tribute and I'll acknowledge the presence of the EFF leadership Mr. Shivambo, and Mr. Ndlozi, thank you very much for what you've done for this country. Our members of parliament present this evening, members of our provincial legislation, our religious leaders, our business leaders, not forgetting our great municipal, municipal manager, Mr. Trevor Fowler. Thank you very much for the role that you've played the last two weeks. Mm. Not forgetting the role played by an excellent team from the IEC. Thank you very much for making our democracy to be so vibrant. <laughs> Members of the media who have been with us the last seven months of hard campaigning letting people of Johannesburg know what was happening. Thank you very much for your role. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I feel truly honored to be standing in front of you seven months after hard campaigning. But I would like you to allow me to postpone my major presentation my inaugural speech, two reasons. Firstly, I'd like to pay our condolences to our fellow councillor who passed away today, this evening. In her memory, I would suggest that I postponed my inaugural speech to our first sitting of council on the 13th of September, if you'd allow me to do this so that we show respect to our fellow comrade, to our fellow councillor, to members of the ANC. Her loss is not your loss. It's a loss to all of us as council. It's a loss to this country. So I'd like to recognize that. Secondly, I think one has to be fair. I know all of us are hard workers, but we've got limits how far we can stretch ourselves. Tomorrow is another day. Let me not subject you to a long speech, but very important. Let me, however, bring this to attention to make a commitment and pledge to people of Johannesburg, residents who voted for us and made this chance possible for all of us. I'm committing under the DA-led administration that we're gonna bring change we're going to bring change that is going to create jobs for our people. Over 800,000 of our residents, one in three, are today unemployed. We need to address this, and we need to address this as a matter of agency. Our government needs to play a role, not to be the employer, but to create an enabling environment for the private sector to employ our people particularly small businesses. Small businessmen and women out there, you're going to be my biggest friends. 
because I know when you're successful, you will give employment opportunities to our people. When you're successful, you'll pay your taxes. And I can assure you, we're going to run a government that is going to ensure that we look after your money. We will get this money to go ensure that we can go and give dignity to people of Alexander, people of Zanspreit. People today with no toilets expected to live in a city regarded as a world-class African city. When people of Alexander don't have toilets, they don't have running water. This is not fair. This is not what South Africa should be. Let's get this city working again so that we can give our people dignity. Let me make it clear, unapologetically, as of this evening, corruption is declared public enemy number one in this city. I commit and I make a pledge under the DLA administration, public monies that have been misspent, misused over the last five, ten years or so. We're going to take this money, we're going to look after it so that we can provide basic services to our people. That's a commitment that we made as a DA. And that's a promise that I'm committing to everyone all our colleagues, all my councillors, I hope you're going to join me in ensuring that we can use public funds in a responsible manner. We can use public funds to provide dignity to our people. We have to create Johannesburg to be that great city that all of us want to live in. So, ladies and gentlemen, Please allow me to deliver my inaugural speech on the 13th of September in front of all of you. And I will shortly be announcing my mayoral committee that's going to be working with me on this journey to ensure that we deliver to the people of this country, people of this city in particular. I'm hoping if everything goes well, that I can have this by this Wednesday so that you can hit the ground running. We don't have time on our side. Five years is not a long time. And we're sitting and facing a massive challenge ahead of us. Speed is of essence. And I want everyone who's going to work with me to understand the importance of time, to understand the importance of public service. I'm so glad that power is back in civil society. And we've got to keep it that way. Thank you very much for listening to me. It's been a tiring day, but a worthwhile day. We can all of us be proud as South Africans to live under this current democratic dispensation. Let us all do everything possible to ensure that we protect our constitution so that it can allow generations after us to enjoy the kind of democracy that we saw it happening since the 3rd of August. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not yet done. Uh, will you please take your seats? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby officially announce the date of the 13th um, of September for the acceptance speech.